You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got some hot new spoilers for you about this stolen baby thing and how it ties into another plot, opening the door for a new DNA test and some very heavy blackmail and threats. There's a lot to unpack, so let's dig in. But if you haven't clicked subscribe, please hit that button below. And now let's talk Days. So these hot new spoilers come in part from an interview with Greg Vaughn about trouble ahead for Eric and Sloan after this adoption. And we've also got the breakdown of the brand new Days of Our Lives promo that we want to talk about and tell you when these scenes are happening, what official spoilers tie to it so you can have all the context at the end of the video. I'm going to drop the promo so you can see it for yourself and during the video, I'm going to drop some brand new pictures for action coming this week. The promo is titled A Mother Knows, and there are those big words they always string between scenes on the flashcards that read, A Mother Knows Her Own Child, But The Truth Always Comes Out. Seems like it should say, and the truth always comes out, but they chose the word, but maybe their grammar checker is broken or there's something coming that isn't clear. I don't know. So I'm going to start with the info with Greg Vaughn's new interview. He talked to Soap Digest about the scene that began on Friday's Days of Our Lives episode where Nicole Walker sees her ex-husband Eric Brady with his newly adopted son, whom he and Sloan have named Jude Brady, maybe with Peterson hyphenated in there. I'm just going to call him Jude Brady for now. So Nicole wants to hold little Jude. And of course, Eric's, he's a little reticent just because Nicole just got out of the hospital after her newborn son died. And he just doesn't want her more stressed out. At the time this happens, they were outside Brady Pub. If you remember, while EJ was inside getting takeaway for dinner, Greg Vaughn says in the interview that Nicole soon becomes fixated on the child Eric and his wife Sloan just adopted. Her state of mind is not healthy. She's got kind of some PTSD about losing another baby. This is her third miscarriage. By the way, somebody on our soap social feed commented on one of my videos that I shouldn't be saying that Eric is the father of this baby when EJ is the only one who's ever gotten her pregnant. So the reason I use language of certainty is because an undoctored DNA test confirmed Eric's the dad. Nobody involved in the situation of that initial test would have altered it to say that. And then Sloan turned around and altered the result to say it was EJ. And yes, Eric never got her pregnant before, but magic drugged biscuits were involved this time. So maybe that did did the trick. We know that Eric is fertile for certain because he knocked up Sloan, but she miscarried and Nicole's fertile because she was pregnant. So unless and until Days completely changes recent history and says the kid is EJ's, I'm going to keep saying Eric's the daddy because that's what has been proven on the show. Plus, the real DNA test results are in the safe, and they also say it's Eric's kid. Anyway, Greg Vaughn said Nicole's depressed and hormonal, and in a twist from their usual animosity towards each other, EJ and Eric see eye to eye on this situation. They're both trying to be kind while Nicole freaks out about the adopted baby outside the pub, but Eric lets EJ take the lead on comforting her because that is EJ's wife, not Eric's wife. And official spoilers also say EJ takes Nicole home and he tries to kind of talk her down. And he says she's seeing things that aren't there because she's so upset. Meanwhile, back at his apartment, Eric has little Jude and he tells Sloan that Nicole freaked out and what she said. But I mean, Sloan's a professional liar and lawyer at this point. Sometimes the two overlap. A lot of times I feel like it. And, you know, she doesn't give away that she's about to pee herself over Nicole's reaction. So now I'm going to swap from the interview over to the promo, and then I'm going to circle back to the interview because it also covers events that happen after the confrontations in this hot new video from Days. I'll also tell you as I go what day each scene happens and the spoilers tied to it. Scene one of the promo has Nicole saying emphatically to Eric, this is is my baby. This is my son. That happens Monday, November 27th. And it looks like that happens while EJ is still inside the pump. The initial scene takes place after Eric 
puts the baby in her arms as she asked. Scene two has Nicole then saying to EJ as she's holding the baby, I saw his face. I would know it anywhere. Of course, she's talking about right after birth on the side of the road. She did hold her son. She did look into his eyes and she feels like she's seeing the same thing. She is, you know, we know that. So Eric is kind of standing behind EJ and his head's down. His eyes are closed. He's very stressed. He looks like he's just sick with grief over Nicole's loss. And what he sees is her extreme reaction to her baby's death. That also happens on Monday, the 27th. I expect she says it first to Eric, then repeats it once EJ comes out. Scene three of the promo has EJ holding Nicole back as she rages at Sloan at the Demera mansion. How did you get him? She screams. I need to know. I do suspect this comes later in the week just because of the order of events given in the interview with Greg Vaughn, but it could be earlier. By Friday, the new DNA test is ordered and they usually, you know, they swap story lines kind of every other day depending on the other stories this starts on monday and i know on thursday there are more nicole scenes maybe this showdown happens then or maybe it happens earlier in the week it's hard to tell with days because they don't change their outfits much and both ladies in this confrontation are in the same clothes they were wearing on friday and then again on the monday episode so we'll see scene four is ej raging at terrified leo in the salem police department interrogation room he screams she's going to grieve and suffer for the rest of her life and of course you know leo was shocked to hear the baby died when harris michaels told him that last week leo is still feeling really ill about this because he bonded with nicole's baby when he delivered the kid and he has no answers for ej none as far as he knows the baby was fine when it left so official day spoilers for monday the 27th have ej pushing ray for answers so that puts ej at the police department so i think it happens then because he's so amped up after Nicole's extreme reaction to holding Eric's adoptive son. Scene five starts with a quick shot of Eric bouncing the baby in front of Sloan, but they're not talking. And then Eric is with Mama Marlena saying, I just can't imagine losing him. Marlena says, you're in love with him. And Eric says, I am. So this scene happens on Thursday, November 30th, when Eric takes the baby and goes to see Marlena and tells her about Nicole's freak out. And of course, they think Nicole's being paranoid because she stole Sammy's baby, Sydney, after she miscarried EJ's child. So Nicole thinks Sloan is doing exactly what she did back in the day. And Nicole is right, but no one believes her. Scene six is the last one of the promo. And it's a very angry Dimitri von Leuschner in Sloan's face at her apartment saying, how stupid do you think I am? You took the baby for yourself. I'm going to sing like a canary. That scene is Thursday, November 30th. Uh, really, Dimitri's not so worried about Sloane's fake adopted baby being returned to EJ. He's more concerned about his own baby, little Leo Stark, getting returned to him. So the spoiler says Dimitri threatens to blab the truth. And then on Friday, December 1st, Sloane's going all out to get Leo out of jail so she can keep Dimitri quiet. I wonder if Sloane might tell him the baby is not EJ's just to get that off his conscience because her saying that is not going to make her look any worse worse and it, it makes her look a tiny bit better because the baby is with one of its two biological parents and not just being stole from both of its bio parents it's all still sketchy but dimitri is morally very very gray all right now we're going to swap back to the info from the interview for a quick moment and then i'm going to show you the promo so official day spoilers for thursday have nicole apologizing to holly jonas for snapping at her at the hospital and then according to greg vaughn nicole tells her daughter that she thinks the baby's alive and sloan's stole the kid. Holly then goes to EJ and says, maybe I can fix this. And then she trots over to see her ex stepdad, Eric, and asks if they can just do a DNA test on the adopted baby to just prove that it's not Nicole's kid once and for all. And then maybe her mom can move on. Eric is, of course, close to Holly since they were family at one point. He sees the pain everybody's in. And so Greg Vaughn says Eric agrees to the DNA test to give Nicole peace of mind. He sets up an appointment with Kayla to get her to take care of the test. But he needs to tell Sloan first because this affects her too and it's her family and he shouldn't be doing medical tests on their child without her permission. The problem comes when he tries to tell her about the test. Sloan is frantically running out the door. She's got to get to the police station to try and get Leo released so Dimitri won't spill the beans. So I doubt they're going to tell Nicole they're running the test 
So she doesn't get her hopes up or anything. So I wonder if Eric has EJ either come up and give a sample to test against the baby or asks EJ's permission to use his existing DNA sample that's on file at the hospital when they did the last DNA test. But I expect they would definitely have to have EJ's permission to use it. And it's it's really perfect if they test EJ against the baby because it definitely won't be a match because Eric is that little boy's bio daddy. I suspect that's the way it goes because all the spoilers indicate the baby stealing story is not done for a while. And that means this test can't be a match. And Sloan won't know about it ahead of time to try and tamper with it. I mean, they still have that shady Dr. Pierce in their pocket. Maybe he gets involved. But the really the faster way to get this off the table is for EJ to be tested against the baby, right? That way they can rationalize it. They don't get Nicole excited, so they don't feed her delusion. And then we'll see more on Friday when Eric is at the hospital with the baby meeting Kayla. All right, that's all the spoilers. I'm going to show you the promo in just a second. Please be sure to drop your comments. I love reading what you guys have to say about all this. Be sure to click subscribe if you haven't already. And now I'm going to show you the promo. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Buckle up. Here it is. Get ready to watch. This is my baby. This is my son. I saw his face. I would know it anywhere. How did you get him? I need to know! She is going to grieve and suffer for the rest of her life. I just can't imagine losing him. You're in love with him. I am. How stupid do you think I am? You took the baby for yourself. I am going to sing like a canary. 